Good morning, St. John. It is a great day to be a St. John kid and a welcome back to our daily prayer and announcements. It is great to be back sharing this time with you and sharing this space. We've really missed you. We've been all getting used to this week, our new way of teaching and learning and working hard to be connected to you. Each day myself or Mrs. Hinger will be sharing our daily announcements on our St. John the 23rd YouTube channel and sending the link to your teachers so you can share this time with us. You can also um, tune into our YouTube channel anytime you're ready in the morning to begin your day in the way that we did when we were all together at St. John. So let's begin today in the way that we know how by invite, inviting Jesus into our minds, into our hearts and into our learning spaces. So just be still St. John and this morning as we prepare, let's be still and take five. Notice five things around you. Maybe it is something you hear, maybe it is something or someone you see. Be still and take five. And as you take five, we remember our gratitude for God and all that he has created around us in who we see, in who we hear, in everything that surround us and all that we are. Let's begin with the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Well, we are on week four of our Lenten journeys. And as we pray this morning together, let us be mindful of our promises of fasting, almsgiving, and prayer. Dear Lord, we are part of your human family. Forgive us when we forget that. Families care for one another, protect one another, speak for one another, encourage one another, and respect one another. Fill us with your compassion so that when our brothers or sisters across the world and around the world are in need, we help them. We share their pain or suffering and pray that your spirit of generous abundance and love will move upon them and through them. May we always love first, last, and always. We ask this through your Son, who met the needs of all. Amen. And together we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. St. John the 23rd, pray for us. St. Teresa of Calcutta, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Well, we need to send out some very special belated happy birthday blessings on March 16th to Abby, March 2018 to Tyson, March 22nd to Chance, and today we say happy birthday to Harrison. As you know, St. John, we are focusing this month for our healthy living on Canada's 24-hour movement guidelines, which are guidelines to help us live a healthy and happy life 24 hours a day. The guidelines focus on four activities and the amounts we should be doing them. And you know, they are sweat, step, sleep, and sit. Our healthy living announcement for today, did you get enough sleep last night? If you are five to 13 years old, you should have slept for nine to 11 hours last night. Here's a few tips to help you get a good night's sleep. Keep all electronic electronics out of your room at night. Two hours before bed, Quit having screen time so that we don't have that blue light and we can move into our REM sleep for the night. And tell your mom or dad or somebody at home today one thing that you make a promise do that will help to do, that you help you get more sleep. St. John, have a wonderful Wednesday and remember, you are loved.